These are guys that want wrestling. They want to be scissored. They want to be put in headlocks. Some of them want to be knocked out by my thighs. Hidden behind hundreds of unassuming terraced London houses is the red padded mat room of the submission room. I've been wrestling for about 10 years. I've had the submission room about five. We offer wrestling sessions. There's a fantastic group of girls that um, are very skilled and strong and guys come and wrestle them. I'm ready to tap. The guys come for all different sorts of reasons. For some guys it is a fetish. A lot of the guys come because it's really good fun, it's a good way to keep fit. Some of the guys do want to win, generally we win. <laughs> the submission room has 23 female wrestlers for men to choose from on their impressive roster. Among them are Pussy Willow and Amethyst Hammerfist. I try and explain it to some of my friends. It's quite difficult for people. They think, oh, so, so do they get off on it and do they orgasm and do, do they want to have sex with you? And I'm like, if they wanted sex, they could go to someone and buy sex for probably a lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. And a lot then, quicker. You can, in yeah. fact, have sex delivered to your door quicker than a Domino's pizza. Yeah, um, Being a dominatrix privately and professionally and um, sensual misuse and all these sorts of things. So I've come into it from that angle. and. I must say, when I found wrestling, I felt like I'd found my true yeah. calling. I'm sure you feel with me on this one. I've always been feisty and aggressive, a bit too much. So when I found the wrestling, it literally <laughs> saved me because now I have an outlet where every day I, I, I can be feisty and aggressive in a safe place and get paid for it. Oh, God. Ah. One of the gym's regular clients is council worker Steve. <laughs> no, I'm flexible. Oh, yes, I submit. <laughs> I suppose I've been coming back here three, four years now, something like that. I think wrestling is a great sport. Always have done. But I don't want to roll about on the floor with a sweaty bloke. <laughs> and this is the thing with most guys. They think, look at that. Look how sexy that is. Somebody's sitting on his face. That must be so sexy. Do you know what? 0.01 of a second before they sit on your face, yes, it is sexy. Once then, you think, I can't breathe. That stops being sexy very quickly. It would frighten the life out of most people if they did it. I'm having trouble breathing now. <laughs> I've always been into sports. Since I'm a bit of a kinky guy on the internet, I found out there, were, there was a wrestling scene, like happening like next door to me in London. Wrestling is kind of fun to me because it happens not only to the kinky me, but also to an athlete fit me. That was great. I mean, it's, I actually fought back really, really hard. I don't normally do that, and it makes it a lot more fun. When Pippa had me in a figure four triangle, she had her leg pushing on my carotid artery, and I was actually starting to see stars. My carotid artery. I'm passing out. If I hadn't tapped out and she'd kept going, it wouldn't be long until I'd pass out. You know, I'll wake up tomorrow morning and I'll have a lot of bruises. There's absolutely no type of person that comes. We have young people, old people, rich people, poor people, people that have been into wrestling for years, people that have just discovered it and think that looks fun. Hip of the Ripper says business is growing all the time as more people like Steve find out about the gym. In the near future, she hopes to move into a bigger premises and run live wrestling events. I really don't know what I'd be doing if I hadn't found wrestling. I get a huge kick out of it. I love learning about my body and how I can use it in different ways. In case you're wondering, that's my throat. That's where I breathe through. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>